Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing great and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, we're going to build this amazing responsive navigation bar from scratch. We're not going to use any external library and this is the navigation bar we're going to build from scratch. It is 100% responsive for all the devices whether you want to open into your mobile phone, tab and a desktop. Actually, this navigation bar is a part of a complete tutorial which I have made on an e-commerce website templates where I have built five pages shop page home page about us page contact page so I will link that video in the i button or in the description so you can watch if you want where I have explained everything that how you can design a complete e-commerce website from scratch but in this video we're going to focus only in this navigation bar because that's what you are here for so now let me take you to my computer screen and show you how you can build this amazing navigation bar from scratch so let's start building this amazing one so here we are back in our HTMLs and now we are done with the CSS global setting. We have created all our CSS utility classes. Now we are going to write our HTML code for this project. So let's start. Let's create a class with the name of home in the body. Let's create a header tag and let's give a class to primary header. And I will also use the content utility class which I have created. And I will say display flex because I'm going to create an uh, icons and I'm going to create a menu. So that's going to be in the flex. So that's why. Let's come here and let's open into the live server. And let's make it side by side very quickly so let's zoom it a bit so this is our our browser now let's come here let's create a, another class header inner one and let's set the flex now create a div with a class name of logo let me put my image so i have all the image in that let's select the image come here and logo so here i have my logo let's come back here and let's create a button and let's assign a button mobile so here we have the close button so here i'm creating a button with the name of mobile close PDN. let's start and what else what else what else what else what else let's give a data visibility to false and the reason why I'm assigning this data visibility because I'm going to use this to open and close the nav bar with the help of JavaScript you will find out that what I mean so let's assign this data visibility to false and I will also assign area control and this will always refer for an ID so I will assign ID primary navigations navigations so this is how our button is looking right this moment and let's let's what else what else what else let's come here let me format this everything and let's let's create an icon let's put an icon so let's come back to this website and just open it and come to this explore section and let me search for this icon so circle so this cross so this is the icon which we're going to use for our circle close so simply click here and copy and come back here and paste so here I have my icon so we are done with that so let's simply click here and let me create a, another component which is going to be a navbar inside this i'm going to have all the navigation now let's create a ul and i will give a id to primary navigation so here i have assigned a primary navigation area control primary navigation so it's the same id i have to give here because this will refer to this and this is for system technology so when you have area controls when a system technology will read your code they will know that okay this button is controlling this part of the code so it always wants an id so let's give a primary navigation and what else let's create a data visible let's give it to false because this one is going to be open and closed so that's why i'm assigning a data visibility to false and let's come down here and let's assign a class is going to be um, let's say primary navigation let's set the display is going to be flex i'm adding a flex class and inside this i'm going to have my allies so let's create ally anchor tag and i'm going to create all the pages because here we are creating five different pages one for home about shops so i'm going to add all these pages here so i'll say slash home and type home and now i'm going to add all the utility classes which we have created in our css and that's make our work very easy so let me do it very quickly so i'll say class and this one is going to be my font size and this one is my font family monster it and let me make it a little bit bold so this is how it will look in the browser and what else i can add so let me zoom out a bit let me zoom it and i hope it's looking good okay so simply replicate this couple of times and let me change the text very quickly so this one is going to be about us this one is going to be blog and this one is going to be contact us let me change the name of this about and blog and contact so we have all our utility classes now this is how it's looking right this moment so let's make it side by side and let's come here and let's some add so let's create another div with the name of header login and let's give a class that and set flex I will take a p tag and I will say login let's create a class fs monserate font family and bold is going to be 500 so let's come back to the browser and let me grab the icon very quickly so this is the search icon I will take come here and let's make it down and paste here 
what else I want I want my shopping icon so search shopping and this one I will grab it and I will paste it here so I think what else I need let me assign an ID very quickly to the cart box and the reason why I have assigned the ID because here I have to open and close it so that's why I have assigned an ID so let's come here come back to the code editor and let me assign the area control this one is going to be cart icon so this is how I have my login and all the buttons let's come back here so let's come and give the comment here I'm going to add my cart box so all the code for the cart I'm going to write inside this and it's always important to write comment in between your codes I will create an ID with card icon Control will refer to this card icon so I have assigned this card icon now let me give a data visible is going to be false and let's create a class with card icon this one is going to be for the stylings let's come here and let me create another div with a shopping and let's set it flex and inside this I will take a p tag and I will set shopping basket and, and let's search for cross let's click here and come and paste here so we got our icons let's bring it down and let's say cart bold is going to be 800 let's set it to flex and simply come here and type for shopping and this come here and paste it so this is what we have now let me like take a paragraph cart is empty and this is how it's everything set so everything is set now let's come back here and let's create another like div with a mobile open btn because i have to open and close it so let's come here and let me grab this icon paste it here and what else i can do so here i can give this comments because this website is really big so i have to make it these comments so let's type header section let me copy this and come here and paste it so header end let's come here this is how everything's looking right this moment now now we are done with the html part now here we are in the css let's start writing the code for our header section so let me give this comment header section and this one is going to be end so let's start this primary header and justify content mm, let's see how is everything's look let me set the stage for it mm, justify content space between a line item center padding block to ramp from top and bottom and let's bring it down let's come here let's target header inner one and let's set it to what a line item is going to be center and logo is going to be margin right margin right from two rams yes two ram and let's grab the mobile button close button and set the display to be none and now primary navigations let's remove the margin so where it is where it is so here remove the margin for zero padding zero list style none and here let me add my custom property i've already said flex and let's me add a custom gap is going to be three times so this will space up apart and this is how it will look let's come here down and what else primary navigation a text decoration is going to be none and color is going to be hsl and here i can make it little light so i will say 0 0.6 so it will make the nav navigations little light i don't want to have a dark one so 0 0.6 that's good and cursor is going to be pointer okay this is how everything is looking let's come down here and let me create a primary navigation and active and let's say color is going to be complete dark and this active and this class and this active class i'm creating because i have to assign a dark color to my navigation where in whichever page i will be so my first home page would have an active class so i'll come in my html and here i will add active i will paste you will have a dark color so that's my active page so bring it down so let's copy this header login come here and justify content is going to be space between a line item is going to be center and let me set this okay flex gap to ram again i'm telling you this is my custom property and now let me zoom a bit and come down just comment out for this for a while now check everything's looking fine hide that so mobile open button display is going to be none on a desktop so this is how it's looking bring it down primary header prime sorry header login and my icon i'll font size is going to be two ram it's i will have a big size now margin top is going to be 0 0.5 ram position is going to be relative and margin top is in the negative because I want to make it little downward and let's come here so let's head a login my icon and after element because I'm creating a pseudo element and on that I'm going to add my text so content is going to be blank and width is going to be one RAM and position is going to be absolute and what else I can add background color is going to be HSL and this one is going to be red height is going to be 1.2 RAM so this is how it will look now margin top is going to be minus 3 ram 3 ram it's not showing there now let's say margin left is going to be 1 ram let's comment out this for a while it's there 
okay now border radius is going to be 0 0.3 ram now display is going to be grid and this time I can set content to 0 so I will have that 0 and let's do here I'll set the color to be white so my text will be white font size is going to be 1 ram and let's make it so it will be there in right positions let's come there and font width is going to be 700 let's, let's expand this let's close it close it close, close expand it so this is how things looking now now what now what now what so let's come here header media so now let's start writing the media query for this so let's come and let me come in this one is going to be mobile and first I'm going to target my let max width is going to be 35 em so primary navigation and I will set the position is going to be fix and display flex direction is going to be column this is how it will look now z index is going to be 999 and text align is going to be center flex gap is going to be 1.7 ram and here I will use inset 0% 0% 0% from all the sides and I will assign a background color is going to be gray this gray light I will just increase the opacity to a little bit 0.9 is good now padding is going to be clamp and the reason why I'm using clamp because I want to make a response layout so when someone's open this application and stretch it so it will expand and will squeeze so that's why I'm using clamp for my padding so 3 RAM is the minimum it will grow by 30 VH high 30 VH is a viewport height so minimum is 3 RAM and the maximum is 30 VH and the maximum will go to 10 RAM and it will grow by 30 VH so from the left and right is going to be zero so this is how it will look <laughs> now let me see what else mm. so transform transition Y and 100% so transform transition Y 100% so it will just make take it take the nav navigation bar out of the like window because I want to add an animation so when someone click on the button so it will slide it down so minus 9 minus sorry 100 so when I can comment this it will go up so transition transform is going to be 250 ms millisecond easy in and out so let's come here and primary navigation and data visible is going to be true so I have assigned data visible to false so when someone click it will become true and it will slide it down so let's come down here and set the transform trans y is going to be zero percent so let me come here and show you so if I change it to true it will come down if I change it to false it will go up so this is how everything's working let's come back here and what else I can let me just uncomment this and let's bring it down here and primary navigation a font size let's give my custom property is going to be this one 30 yeah this looks quite good and let's bring it down mm, what I can add what I can add so 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 so, so let's come to the my HTML and see so here I have my primary mobile button let's come and target this and let's come here display is going to be block because I'm adding on the desktop but I want to make it visible on the mobile phone so let's set it to be block so let's set z index is going to be 88 so right there now I want to write top 5 RAM and position is going to be fixed right is going to be 3 RAM 3 RAM border radius border is going to be 0 and what else I can add font size is going to be 3 point RAM cursor is going to be port, pointer and transform y is going to be minus 300 percent because I want to make it completely out of the DOM and let's set it to transition transform 500 ms easy in out and let's let's target my mobile close BTN and set the data visible to true so when I make it true it will slide it down and it will go up so transform translate y is going to be zero let's come to my HTML DOM and set so if I set true it will be here if I set it to false it will go up so let's come back to my CSS and let's make it to 14 okay that's good in the middle so that's look good and let's uncomment this I have done something wrong so where it is where it, let's come to my HTML okay this one is false so it will go up so so everything's looking good right this moment so let's come here and let's create a header login and I can provide a gap so flex gap is going to be 1.5 RAM and I can provide a margin from left hand side going to be 4 RAM so the, the shopping bag will come this side now let's come down and mobile open button let me target that and set the display to be block let me increase the font size is going to be 2 RAM this one is look good now cursor is going to be pointer what else I can add it's look good so let's see the responsiveness let me stretch okay let's squeeze it here it's looking good here it's not looking good so let's come down here and let's comment this and this is one is going to be for iPad so we are done with the desktop we are done with the phone now let's move to the iPads so let's adjust the heights okay so very first thing I will say media min width is going to be 35 em so here I'm taking min and when I was doing in my mobile phone I took max so I generally like to do in this way 
and the maximum it will go is to 59 59 em so this is how i add a media query mainly for my tab tabs so when i'm designing any layout for the tab so this is how i assign media query for that so here the very first thing that come up here let's grab all these codes and simply paste it here so here what i have done i have simply copied all the code from my mobile mobile design which i have set and simply paste into my tab one so because the same style i won't provide in the tab design as well so that's look good let's scroll down okay let's come back to uh, let's uncomment this section uh, what happened let's come and comment this and let's start styling this part so let's come here and let's card box and card box now let me grab this card icon position is going to be absolute this is how it will look insert zero percent and thirty percent and this one is going to be zero percent and this one is also going to be zero percent so this is how it will align let me assign a background color hsl and this gray i will take light gray so this is how it will look now let me provide a transform translate x and minus 100 percent so it will be out of the dom so this is how it will look so for a while let uncomment this transition transform like 250 ms easy in out and z index is going to be 111 let's come down here card icon data visible and this one is going to be true transform translate x zero percent and let's uncomment this okay now let's bring it down now grab the shopping let's come back here this this one and let's sign a padding is going to be two ram justify contain space between a line item is going to be center shopping direct p font size is going to be where this 20 font family is going to be this pop monsteret monsteret shopping direct icon so here i'm using this arrow to denote that directly that i'm targeting this icon cross icon which is inside the shopping so font size is going to be 1.5 ram color is going to be hsl hsl black and let's inc increase decrease the opacity to 0.5 0.8 now set the transition to be let's say transform 2.5 ms easy in and out and shopping icon over let's uh, do it to transform rotate 90 degree so let's check okay it's working fine so let's come down here and cut and let's say flex direction is going to be column so this is how it will look justify content center width is going to be 100% and flex is going to be flex gap is going to be let's say 0 0.5 ram okay this looks good a line item is going to be center that will be in the middle now font family is going to be this pop-ins and text transformation to upper scale color is going to be this 0 0.5 opacity this looks good this is what we have in the design a little light gray so let's come down here and cut icons so I'm targeting the icon font size is going to be 5 RAM so this looks good now margin bottom is going to be minus 2 RAM so this both will come together okay so this looks good now let's scroll all the way down let's come here and simply dot card icon and Z index is going to be 999 and position is going to be fixed copy the same thing paste in the desktop we had done now here in the tab so so okay that's look good let's see so it's working fine this is how it's looking on desktop now let's scroll all the way down all the way down and let's come here let me give this comment to desktop and what else media query min width is going to be 5 9 em and i will grab that cart icon position is going to be absolute insert is going to be 10 percent 5 percent 50 percent and 60 percent so this is how it will look let me bring it this side border radius is going to be one ram so this is how it will look let's come down transform translate x is going to be 150 percent so this will go out of the dom come down z index is going to be 222 now transition transform 200 ms and easy in and out okay so cut icon data visible true just give this bracket and transform translate x is going to be zero percent so okay you can see it's true and if i make it false it will go off so let's come down here and say cart icon shopping and display is going to be none so this i this text is got disappeared now let's provide a padding so cart padding top is going to be four i mean it will be in the middle so this is how things are looking let me uncomment this 
so this is how everything is looking let's come up and let's see where it is where it is come up come up uh, which one which one let's see this one just uncomment this it will go out of the ground now let's come to the JavaScript so here we are in the JavaScript now let's start writing the JavaScript to bring this functionality so what we have to do we have to add a so now let's bring those functionality so we have to open our navigation and close we have to open our cart icon so let's write the JavaScript for that so I'll give this comment header section and I'm going to create cons nav open document query selectors and here I have assign a this class copy and simply come here and paste Could replicate this couple of times now nav close and let's change this to close and this one is going to be my primary navigation let's come back and what I have assigned so it's a primary navigation let's copy this ID come here and let me remove all these sections and get element by ID get element by ID and I have to assign my ID okay come down here and and now I'm going to add an add event listener on my nav open so let's say nav open add event listener is going to be click and arrow function and okay now let's remove this remove this and I will create a const and a variable so I will call it visibility visibility and I will I will grab my primary navigation and I will get the attribute data visible so this is the data visible attribute which I have assigned in my HTML and with the help of that I'm going to target so data visible so here here I have assigned a data visible false false so with the help of that I'm targeting my UL navigation so this is simply copy and come here and paste and just come down and here I'm going to write the if statement so if visibility is deeply equal to false so here I'm looking for a data type and the value so that's why I'm giving this bracket and primary navigation set attribute data visible to for true so here what I'm saying that get the primary navigation and set the attribute to true so currently the data attribute is false so when someone will click on the navigation I want to change the attribute to true so true let's come down else create this bracket and prime let me copy this one and paste it and change this to false okay let's save it and come here as you can see it's working fine but we don't have our buttons so just cut this and I think something wrong let's come to the CSS okay it's working fine but let's come back to the CSS let's see what's happened let's see what we'll just scroll down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this one is true data visible is true let's come back to my HTML okay everything is working good okay so simply change this so I have assigned a data attribute to my close button so I'm changing the data attribute to true also so that will have the animation so I've targeted my nav close and I'm setting the set attribute so data is going to be true simply copy and paste and set it to false let's come back here and click here we have so here click and something okay let's see click and it's working fine so we are getting our close button now let's add an admin listener on the close button so when I will click on that close button my navigation will close so I will target my nav close and I will add an add event listener on that I'm looking for a click and I will add an arrow functions so again I will simply copy the variables which I have created visibility and here I'm going to write the if statement so visibility is going to be true so here I'm looking for a true so if my data attribute of that closing button is true I want to make it false because the very first time it's closed when I'm clicking on the navigation menu it's getting true so if that is true I want to make it false so I'll say grab this nav simply copy this two part and simply paste it here so it's set to false now Let's come down and let's try one more time let's save okay save okay it's working it's closing opening closing opening but there's something wrong with my close button let's see what's happened mm, okay this one zero if i click i will have the animation open close open close so everything's working fine working fine let's come back to my javascript and this is how we look on desktop let me stretch here okay let's bring it down so it's working fine let's bring it down looking perfect so our navigation is working almost amazingly now let's grab our shopping cart and let's open the side navigation menu so this part so I'll come here I will come up here and this part let's uncomment this okay this is one so if I click on this click on this cross button so I want my navigation this side menu to be closed so I'm going to add an element listener on that and I'm going to add an event listener on the shopping bag as well so let's come let's uncomment this and on that also so let's come back to my JavaScript and simply let me give this comment so I can know what I'm doing so card menu and const let's come back here and grab me the so this this one card icon ID so shopping bag document dot get element by ID and this one is going to be card icon const card items and document dot get element by so I have a sign uh, let's see what okay okay something wrong so, okay so simply copy this copy this and come here and here you have to assign card box and this one is going to be card icons sorry and 
and let's create another const variable is going to be cross so here i'm targeting my cross button document get element by id and let's grab it so where is the cross button so here see our cross btn so here i have my cross button so let's add an element listener on the shopping bag and i'm looking for a click and i will run arrow function on that const shopping card let's grab the cart item and get attribute data visible visible e visible okay if shopping cart deeply equal to false then i want to set card item set attribute to let's say data visible true true and else let me copy this and paste it here and this one is going to be false let's come back and let's check whether it's working or not so something wrong it's not working let's see my console everything's look good okay this one is problem it's not ree -E. simply save it and now it's working fine as you can see closing up now i have to add an element listener on this close button so let's come back here go to my HTMLs, and let's me grab that and here i have to assign an id i forgot to assign the class so let's create an id not class so i'll say cross btn so simply copy and here i have already targeted that cross btn so let's come here and add an adamant listener on that button so this is going to let's remove this cross btn dot adamant listener looking for a click and running an arrow functions by the time you are guys are mostly familiar of this syntax you know i'm repeating this this variable is quite oftenly so let's grab this show cart and if shopping cart is deeply equal to true then i want to make it false okay let's save it and come to the browser and check everything's working fine okay this one is also working this one amazingly so everything's working fine let's stretch it okay this works really good and everything's look so everything's working fine so with